I want to emphasize just one thing out of this. You've heard so many times the story of the Samaritan woman. Go back and read it again. It's, it's an amazing story of the encounter of Christ. Uh, Yanni spoke about it in the past. This is one thing that I want to emphasize. This is the first time in the Gospels, in the encounter with someone, that Christ actually, Jesus actually says that I am He, I am the Christ. He reveals Himself not to just anybody, not to a righteous person, not to a saint, not to a prophet, not to uh, a leader or a king or a priest or anybody else. He reveals Himself first to a sinful woman as the Christ. And that to me is the most significant aspect of this story, besides all the other things that happen. And the reason he reveals himself to this woman is because he knows her heart. And he knows that she is willing to receive him. She is looking for him. Her questions show that. But she's confused because of her sin, of her sinfulness. And we are at the place where Christ met her. We are at the place where Christ revealed himself to this woman. And we are going to partake of that water that she offered him. <clears throat> that water that so many others have received through the centuries, starting from the great patriarchs all the way to our times today. And before we do that, I want you to venerate a part of her skull, actually, a piece of her skull which has been brought here. We didn't have it here the last time, so this is a blessing for us who came last time. Two years ago, Father Justinus received this from the Holy Mountain, from the Holy Mountain, Mount Athos in Greece. I thought it was somebody in Italy. Up to... <coughs> <coughs> oh, the Stamina of the Middle East. Of the Vatican, from the Vatican, he received the jar, which is the jar of uh, the, Samaritan woman. the Samaritan woman. And the Samaritan woman is the one that went to the people, of course, of the city close by and confessed that the Christ has come and she's the one who brought them to, to, to him and then of course she became a great uh, apostle as she went out and preached Christ after the resurrection and after uh, the revelation of Christ fully as the Messiah.